Boston. It's your boy Rock, back with another one, man. Today I'm about to be telling y'all a little bit of a tip, a trick of how to stay motivated as a producer. I know a lot of y'all be struggling with like beat blocking shit, bro. And <laughs> excuse my voice, I'm a little bit. <laughs> you feel me? I got goals, bro. I got goals. Um, you know, as you can see, like I'm here giving y'all tips and tricks and telling y'all how to do little stuff or whatever. Uh, that's cool and all, man. But I got like long term, like really big goals that I want to accomplish. So myself i wasn't gonna stop until i'm a multi-platinum producer until i'm a diamond producer i don't even never want to stop after that bro like i want to song produced by me and for real i want to produce for for real because you know i mean i'll prove it to y'all i'll go from making beats like this to making beats like this to making beats like this. And then making beats like this, bruh. One more, I just wanna show off real quick. But yeah, bruh, I just feel like I'm too deep in the game to quit, bruh. I'm too deep in the game. My long-term goal, right, is to knock out every genre the best I can. Like, really, really sell in those genres. That's my long-term goal. Um, Because I want to be the main person for everything. Like, I can edit videos. I can do this. I can do that. And when I started exceeding the threshold of what I thought I was capable of, that's when I start started to excel. That's when more people started to get my drum kits etc etc bro like i try to be as resourceful as i possibly can i mean even while i be talking it's stuff off screen that y'all don't even see me doing because i'm just trying to make sure everything is consistent and stays afloat for my business bro you feel me i always try not to think about it that way because i don't want y'all to be like oh yeah it's something past my capability or I don't, i'm not capable bro like i real sat here and taught y'all how to do every single thing down there you feel me and so to be honest, to be completely honest, I just feel like more people should actually have long-term goals that they know for a fact that they're capable of. I've always been good at sound design and like somebody told me in my last stream that they still got my Sorcerer Stone kit from Reddit that I made years ago. Years ago, bro. Back when Palace was still relevant. You feel me? But it, it's crazy because I'm the type of nigga, bro, if I'm not doing this shit, I can't do nothing else. I cannot do nothing else. This is like a real look into my life. This is the has been the only thing that has helped me and get me through life. I done been through a lot of fucked up shit and this is my getaway. That's why I don't never leave the house. Um, <clears throat> and matter of fact, and since we talking about not leaving the house, nigga, let me show y'all how many beats I already made this month, dog. I already made 23 beats this month, bro. Y'all see that shit, bro? 23 beats already this month, and it's the third day, gang. Man, that lets y'all know how much I'm into it, because I sit here and I edit these videos, like, bro, I got approved to my new apartment. I'm moving into my new apartment and stuff like that now. Nigga just been doing this for a long time to the point where I can really sit here and support my family and not really have to go nowhere. It don't bother me. Nothing. Nothing that niggas think bother me or that might bother them because of what they've been through nigga like all i'm gonna say is bro me and my family my only consider like a few people my family we straight and one of them people is straight because of me so that's to let y'all know you know what i'm saying like bro everything that i've done with this music shit has been my willing to do it it's in, i can't explain it it's like it's in me you feel me and like i feel like y'all hearing me talk it's probably therapy for y'all because I might build some interest in y'all for keeping y'all afloat and staying uh, motivated in the industry because it's, it's a big thing, bro. It's a big thing, bro. Niggas be seeing these placements, they be like, oh, I wish I had that, man. Oh, I ain't getting no placements, man. I fell off, man. Like, niggas that get like one song a couple years ago and be like, man, they fell off because they ain't getting placements on every album. But you got to think, bro, a lot of these niggas is either number one, they in the studio with these niggas, number two, they sending the beats out to the right person or the loops out to the right person. 
Number three, they just relevant, bro. And you gotta get yourself to a point where you just, you can't stop, you feel me? And I don't, I can't lack motivation in this because I found in my spirit that there is no ceiling in this shit. It's no ceiling at all. You feel me? Um, and that keeps me. I, I'm never bored because of that. Like I'm never bored because of that. It's impossible for me to be bored. I've reached a level where it's just like I know what time I need to do stuff. Like, bro, y'all seeing this video right now at like 4 p.m. or something, 4:30 something like that. Maybe I'm nine minutes in to making this video. All I gotta do is put my intro, my outro, edit, and do some little cuts, man. I just got a little piece of software for my reels bro i'm so motivated because i know my music is good and i know what the end product is gonna be you feel me i know how good i know how good my stuff is man you know what i'm saying and like bro my quality just got to that point and i'm doing more renders now i'm doing more content more videos i'm doing more lives i'm doing collab lives i got three collab lives now you feel me I never see the day without I, I'll be doing collab streams with other producers because I didn't see myself as a streamer, dog. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. A lot of niggas from here do not sit in the house and stream, nigga. These niggas be hustling, working, doing a nine to five, doing other things that I can't specify at this very moment. And a lot that has to do with this is just my work that I have with DDOT. You feel me? Like, nigga, that's my brother, bro. And like, I can't lie, like, ever since I met this nigga, bro, I just been motivated to do more but with music. You feel me? Like, yeah, Keo and AP, my homies for life. But nigga, my nigga died, like, um, musically, we got a lot of chemistry. You feel me? And we literally changing the game. We changing the sound in the industry. And, like, a lot of people want to sound like us, bro, from different countries. You would have to be deep in this shit and, and went broke, like, 2,000 times to understand. Probably more than that. I mean, some of y'all watch my streams at work. Some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, my life isn't funded, gang. Like, you feel me? Like, I really do make these sales. I really do make 4000 5000 a month off of this shit. I can't even kid to you, bro. Like, it, it'll be like some days. I mean, even with kits, with kits, sound design or anything. Like, sometimes I'll be motivated. Sometimes I won't. You feel me? Um, some days I make money. Sometimes I don't. Some days, some full days, I don't make money. Sometimes I don't make money for a full two or three days. And then some weeks will be slow, too. But because i'm doing stuff to keep my page and keep my site relevant i'm i'm consistently releasing kids i'm consistently dropping content i'm consistently using my own sounds all the time that's what makes people want to get my shit and then when i get unmotivated that type of shit motivate me too so i really just try to do shit i'm so deep in this shit dog that i will literally do shit that I know will motivate me because I did this for this to happen. I made kits. Yeah, I made kits so I can make sales, but I made kits to change the sounds of the industry. Pull up my phone, somebody using my sounds in, in their story. That's motivating as fuck. You feel me? <laughs> that make me want to get up and be like, damn. I got to do this shit again. I can listen to an album. And I'm like, I can do that too. Every time I hear an album, I, I can do that too. I can make my voice sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, bro, I'm kind of just sick in the head like that. Like, like, bro, I can hear a, a K-pop album be like, bro, I can recreate everything, bro. Like, I know what I'm capable of, bro. I'm just using the tools that I have at this very moment. Like, a lot of this stuff that people are doing is funded. And that's what be, that's what be killing y'all motivation because y'all see people lifestyle. I talked about this in my last video, dog. Like, it, it's, it's a whole thing going on with that, bro, and, like, and I like this type of content because I really get to sit down and talk to y'all and, like, really try to figure out what's going on in y'all head, bro, um, because I struggle with motivation some days, too, but the fact that I'm trying to, I have a purpose, and nobody is going to knock me down, that's my main shit, like, I look at it like I'm actively fighting somebody, <laughs> That's how I look at it. Like, I look at it like I'm actually, like, piecing somebody up. Like, bitch, 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 bitch. Like, that's how I look at the game. Literally. I can't explain that to somebody. I'm fucking sick in the head. <laughs> like, that's how I look at it. And so if niggas don't understand that, 
I don't know what to tell you, gang. Like, I just look at it like I'm actively boxing in this shit. Every time I get an unreleased record, wow. Every time I get a placement, that's a left foot knockout. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> all it takes is a little two-piece biscuit. And that's kind of what be in my sick-ass brain all day. Like, that's why I only do this shit. Like, as far as, like, my social life, it's ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem fucking saying that. But, like, bro, I still got friends. I can still go out whenever I want to, dog. Like, that's no issue. If I really wanted to go out, I'd go out. I just don't, nigga. <laughs> like, because damn near, I feel like if I leave the crib, I ain't gonna make no bread, nigga. The more, the more I stay in the crib, the more bread I make. I make sure I treat myself every month. I, I try to go out, go to the mall, go to the movies at least once, you know what I'm saying? Or once every two months, at least, at least. Even though that's a long ass fucking time. But y'all problem is a lot of you niggas is impatient. And a long time is, is like a week for y'all niggas. And it be a lot of young niggas too. Y'all need to understand that that shit is not, it's not a long time, bro. That shit passed at the blink of a night. And y'all should know that too, bro. Y'all, all y'all young niggas getting older, bro. Some of you niggas' lives is entirely different than mine. You know what I'm saying? I have the privilege of, of, of taking care of my mom. Some of y'all niggas don't in the aspect of life and death and tragedy and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my dad, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? He passed away in 2019, but that's part of my motivation as well. Part of my motivation is just my tragedies and things that I've been through. People will never understand that too. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the reason why I'm just so positively aggressive about being in the industry because it's just like, nigga, this shit changed my life. Ever since I've been locked in fully, this shit changed my motherfucking life. Nigga, like I'm making way more money than I ever made. I'm able to, to pay, be able to pay rent, nigga. My name on the motherfucking lease, nigga. You feel me? Like, nigga, I never see the day. I never see the day where that, where that should have happened, even though I'm an adult. I thought doing this shit, I was gonna be broke, bro. And I'm not broke. You feel me? The economy, for the economy to be fucked up and for me to not be broke, like, <laughs> that, that, hey, that's fine. Niggas can't believe me if they won't. Yeah, I mean, y'all seen, bro, I had the thumbnail. That's a real thumbnail, bro, where I was talking about selling my drug kits. Nigga, that's a real thumbnail. <laughs> that is a real thumbnail in August. Well, it, it was either August or July. One of them months where I made that video where I was talking about my drum kits and shit. That's a real thumbnail, dog. Like, I real live, like, sat there and did that shit and made uh, damn near 4000 a month off of kits. You feel me? Um, April, I made like 5000 May, I made, May, I made like 3000 You feel me? But, like, bro, every month, I just run that shit up, dog. Like, Nigga, I literally, bruh, if you know my know, my homies know, bruh, and I hate disclosing private information, but within a span of three months, aside from my royalty checks, I, I made like $7,000. Like, with my royalty check, I made like 10000 within a span of three months. That's half of somebody's salary within a year. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that be killing me is bills need to be paid and food need to be bought. So I don't spend my money on no dumb shit. I just, my balance is kind of crazy. It's it's very extreme. So my balance is, I have days where I get rest and I'm up here. And then I have days where I don't get no fucking sleep and I'm down here. You know what I'm saying? So like, nigga, it's just all within my spirit. Like what I want to do today. It, I do everything off the power of my brain, dog. <laughs> And some people are different. Some people need organization and shit, bro. I just do this shit on the fly. And can't nobody tell me I'm doing shit wrong because I feel like I ain't, dog. I done did so much in the community off of doing shit on the fly. You feel me? Making sure I just consistently upload. Making sure y'all good. You feel me? Making sure y'all up to date with the sounds. Some, of, some people, that's they go to because they don't have... They just naturally want to support people, but they want to use other sounds and that's cool, bro. But my main motivation with this shit is the fact that I can make sounds solely from scratch out of Bedfield Studio. That's my main motivation. 
because it don't matter how much you customize the wave file it'll still sound the same but if you tweak one little thing in there it'll be different if you tweak one little motherfucking thing in there it's gonna be different and it's gonna be yours and can't nobody tell you no motherfucking different period bro that's your shit that's your shit nigga it don't matter it could be one little speck it could be one little it nigga that's yours <laughs> It, it'll be one little it in the snare and you customize that shit it's yours real niggas know what i'm talking about i sound crazy to the new niggas but the real niggas know what i'm talking about dog i don't know bro i'm just as far as music like everything else bro i don't give a fuck what nobody else talking about this is my plan a period this is my plan a i don't have shit else to do so as long as i don't have nothing else to do people are always gonna need me you have to be able to find out and this is another thing I have to mention this as well because everybody's journey is not the same as mine, nigga. And everybody's gonna be like, well, I've been through this and I've been through that. No, nigga. <laughs> okay, like, okay, you've been through all that stuff, but like everybody's journey is different. My problem, I was just telling my homie this the other day. I was like, bro, it's not a hack to this shit. There's no get rich quick scheme. There's no how to make beats in five minutes. There's no, no a lot of this stuff you took time with it what y'all don't understand is a lot of the real artists okay like lucky i would say is the real artist the nigga been in the game for a, a decade bro literally over a decade like and you think about like the groundwork niggas really put in because niggas always complaining like bruh he should have been this he should have been that because his music is so fucking good his own little sub genre in his way that's how y'all gotta look at it like look at how and then Lee, look at the evolution like he's gotten better as an artist a lot of you niggas have probably got better as producers you know what i'm saying but y'all putting in the groundwork and more people are finding finding out about y'all through the internet somewhat you know what i'm saying but at some point you have to translate this to real life at some point if people know you from real life, they, you could you could have been met them one time, dog. You could have been met them a couple times. Like I met AP and Keo like two times, bro. You feel me? But we don't went to the studio like a lot when I was in LA for my last year. Same thing with me and D Dot. I met that nigga in LA, and I met a lot of the internet money dudes in LA too, bro. And they cool. You feel me? And that's what I be saying, bro. You could have met somebody one time, bro. Niggas, no, you not. Y'all met each other. You feel me? And a lot of y'all niggas just be so focused on just solely just being on the internet, bro. And it's like, that's cool, my nigga. But like, bro, if somebody witnessed your talent in real life, they'd be like, nah, yeah, he really like that. He ain't no fraud. Like, you know what I'm saying? The nigga real cool, too. Like, and a lot of y'all don't be chill, too, bro. Like, man, I swear. That, that motivation shit, is it's a balance to this shit, bro. Like, I'm able to, I'm so crazy that I'm able to still do it. Like when I'm not like that, when I know I'm capable of it, but you know what I'm saying? It's like groundwork. It's like niggas in the NBA can shoot. You feel me? When they don't feel like shooting, like say fucking Curry don't feel like playing a game today. Nigga, he's still capable of shooting. So they gonna need him to shoot whether he feel like doing that shit or not, nigga. You feel me? He can't just say, oh, I can't play this game today because I don't feel like it. The fuck? <laughs> You feel me? Y'all have to train, bruh. It, 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 it's training, nigga. You training for the tuning exam, nigga. That's what this shit is, on bro. What the fuck? But y'all niggas be complaining, bruh. Y'all complain too much about, about that motivation shit, bruh. But I understand because a lot of people are new. I understand that. But, man, it gets to a point, bro. Because this shit, man, I can't explain to a nigga that this sound shit naturally my life, bruh. This shit changed my entire life for like, nigga. But, nigga, like, okay, like, my last video did amazing, right? But for a nigga from Detroit to do some shit like that alone is amazing. Despite the people I produce for, you feel me? Despite all of the songs, despite how many times I've been on the billboard, despite the fact that one of the albums I was on went gold you feel me it had i've done some legendary shit in my career already but nigga the fact that i'm able to sit here and do this and get all these views and stuff and get all these subscribers and stuff nigga this shit is a blessing i can't be unmotivated so that's why i can't relate to a lot of you niggas this whole video was just me saying i can't relate <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's that's the truth and niggas don't want to hear the truth that's the truth it's no it's no bro when i tell y'all it's no code you can't enter in a code to be to keep yourself motivated because then you're forcing it a lot of y'all beats be sounding forced like you trying to force yourself to do it i've listened to stuff i mean 
it's stuff that I made now that I listen back to like damn I ain't gonna lie like I tried to be different so much that this sound a little bit off because I was trying to do something different. You feel me? Because of my love for it. And it's like, y'all beats be sounding so, I be trying to computerize y'all self, bruh. And you can't stay motivated like that. When I tell you, you gonna get burnt out even more by thinking, nah, like you literally have to change the chemicals in your brain to feel different in your body. No matter what you eat, no matter how you sleep, no matter what you do, nigga, it's your human body that you have to change. It's your human brain that you have to change. There's no code. It's not like 2K where you can make a fucking playmaking shot creator where all the Hall of Fame badges. No, nigga. That's n this not that. It's not that, nigga. It's not that, bro. So, um, reality check, man. Reality check for my young niggas in the game. I just wanted to get y'all that sauce because that shit gonna last y'all so many years because of, bro, I've been making beats for so long and I can't go a day without making beats. Most of the time, y'all see I already made 20 beats this month, 23 beats this month, and it's the third day of September. How did that even happen? And I streamed yesterday. This shit crazy, bro. I'm really putting up numbers. And niggas hate that. <laughs> niggas hate it. Niggas hate it, bro. And I know it. I can see it. I can smell it from like 800 miles away. But it's okay. Because at the same time, although I'm able to talk all of this shit, I can go in my own space and be humble during my own time. But I make this video to motivate y'all. This is the reason why I talk the way I do. I sound like a little bit egotistical and stuff man but dog nigga you gotta have pride in your work you gotta have pride in your work nigga if you want to be successful in this shit nigga like i got pride in my work so niggas be like oh he's arrogant oh he has an ego that won't get him far no bro i'm already a chill person i already prove i already i don't have to prove nothing to y'all i don't have to prove that i'm humble to y'all nigga i just love talking shit so that's my whole thing but man yeah i'm gonna end this bitch right here but i'm gonna get to editing this shit so i can post that for it but man if you watching this video the day of is September 3rd, the sale is September 4th. Y'all still got time to get that sale in, bro. All the links is in the description. My kit, I do crazy sales sometimes. My kit is 70% off right now. Y'all might want to copy y'all some shit, man. Glick World or not. Nah, go get that motherfucker. It's 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 a revamped trap kit. All my kits is revamped trap kit and revamped subgenre, speed trap, triple beam, all that nigga. Shout out everybody who make me great. And we gonna be out with this one. You feel me? Good game.